I'm going to do an example of writing a function that will take a number of hours as input and print out the number of days and hours that that is equivalent to. If we write a function, def hours to days, and then our function is going to take one input, which is hours. Now we want to figure out the number of days and then the number of hours left over. So days is equal to hours divided by 24. If we take 36 and we divide by 24, we get 1.5. We know that there's one day in 36 hours, and what we want to concentrate is on just the integer part, the part to the left-hand side of the decimal. Similarly, if we take 241, which we know is 10 days in one hour, and we divide that by 24, we get 10 point something. Because we want to figure out the number of days, we're going to take our division, and we're going to just take the integer part of it. So int 36 over 24 gives us one. So it just chops off the decimal and gives us just the integer part. So days is hours divided by 24, but we just want the part on the left-hand side of the decimal point. Now, we also need to get the number of hours. So to get the number of hours, we look at the remainder when we divide by 24. For example, if we took 36, divided it by 24, we get 1 with a remainder of 12. The modulus operator, this percent sign, gives us the remainder. 36 mod 24 evaluates to 12, which is the leftover part. And if we take 241 mod 24, that gives us 1 because it goes in 10 times and then there's one left over. So mod is how we get the number of hours. I'll change this to D. I like to be consistent with my variable names. H is going to be the input number of hours mod 24. And then we want to print this. So I want to print D, which is the number of days, and then the word days comma, and then we want a number of hours. So I have to, if I want there to be spaces, I have to put them inside of the quotes. Otherwise, if I put a space after this D, it won't render. If I want to say D days and then H hours, I do space so that the grammar matches up. I'll just say hours with the S in parentheses. To test this, we run it and then we can do hours to days. And let's try our sample inputs first. 36 gives us one day in 12 hours. Good. And then hours to days 241 gives us 10 days in one hour. And hours to days 2, that's just 2 hours. It's not going to be any days. Will give us 0 days 2 hours. So that is it. I will see you next time.